following video will provide an overview of several basic iPad gestures. By the end of this video, you should be able to understand how to operate the iPad using the gestures demonstrated within the video. All right, in this video, we'll just kind of go over some of the gestures that you will use most commonly uh, with your iPad. Uh, there are several. And the first one, again, just as a refresher, if your iPad is asleep or is, is locked, you can just simply hit the home button to wake it up. And that's the first gesture you're going to use. It's known as a swipe. And it's what you can do from the left to the right. Uh, you can swipe between your screens of apps. Um, and then that's kind of how you control. It's almost like moving the cursor of your mouse around. Uh, but pretty much anything left to right is known as a swipe. Uh, and most commonly you'll do that while you're on your main screen there. Okay. Um, and then there's also the tap. And I guess think of this like a click of the mouse. You're going to tap on something to open it. Uh, and you'll use the tap to click on a link as well. Um, let's say I tap on the Safari uh, app to open it up, and I want to read through here. Well, there I'm kind of scrolling up and down. Uh, it's the same thing as swipe. You know, swipe is left to right. Scroll is kind of up and down. If you want to move through it like you would take the scroll wheel on your mouse, or, you know, you would drag the, the little slider bar up and down, you just touch and swipe up and down. And if you find a link within there that you want to um, follow, you would tap on that, just like you tapped on the app. You would just simply tap on the link, and it would take it take you to the to the site. So just one tap on there. So pretty easy, um, couple of gestures there. And you know, you could hit your home button to go back. And again, the swipe is left to right. The tap, and then your scroll is up and down. And then if you find a web link within there that you want to click on, you just tap on it as well. Okay, now there's also a couple of different things that are optional. And you can actually turn these types of things off from your settings. Um, if you remember, though, how I told you the home button would, would close an app or suspend an app, you can also put what are, what are known as multitasking gestures on. And that just allows you to use different numbers of fingers to, to do different things. For instance, if I'm in an app and I don't feel like tapping my home button all the time, I can take five fingers and pinch in, and it will close that app. All right, I want to show you that again. Let's say I go into my mail. I'm going to tap it to open it. I'll find the right account, and there's some emails there. Well, let's just say I want to close that app. All right, five finger pinch in. And it takes a little bit of time to get used to that. You can see where I hit a snag there at the front. Um, but just practice around with that, and you'll you'll master that in no time. Uh, so let's let's say we're reading our page, and the text looks small to some. Well, there's a gesture known as pinching out and pinching in to zoom out or to zoom in. For instance, if I take two fingers and I start with them together, and I pinch out the text zooms out so that I can now scroll around and it's a little larger and I can read that okay um, if I am through with that or if it's too large I just start out and pinch in so pinching out will zoom out pinching in I'm sorry pinching out will zoom in and then pinching back in will will zoom out and take you back to the regular size. And you can only go so far with it. And you're thinking, wow, I can't read that at all. Well, when you release it, it's going to go back to a predetermined state there. Uh, but again, if you start with your fingers together and pinch out, you can zoom in. And then if you close those fingers in, it'll zoom back out to where it was. Um, another way to zoom, now it is to a predetermined uh, zoom. And there's really no way to adjust that, but if I want to do a quick double tap, it's going to zoom out to where it kind of, what it tries to do is fill the screen up, okay, at, at, at that point. So you can do the, you know, manual zoom, or you could do a quick double tap, and it will zoom to a predetermined amount. 